much. Um, Portacot in Pictures was born out of a need like to showcase Portacot. Moving back to Portacot three years ago, I figured that there was something lacking. Portacot was not on the map. I wanted to search for places to go. I mean, there was a time when I would go to spa. Like, I wanted to know places, but I couldn't really find places. And then I decided to start up a page. I was working there and I was trying to look for jobs. I found a job and stuff. But personally, um, 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 working with Portacot in pictures and working and having a, a, a 9 to 5 job was my, was my challenge because at first it was like for fun. I just started the blog for fun, the page for fun, just to just post pictures, post foods unique to Port Harcourt. but as time went on, I figured that people, I mean, it made like go offline, people would start asking me questions, and I needed to be there for people who wanted to know about Port Harcourt. A lot of people outside Port Harcourt wanted to know our unique food, places to visit, and it was clashing with my own personal work, so at the time I had to quit, I had to quit just to make sure I'm always online. Then the other challenge was, I used to use like 7K data in a month, but because I had to I had to be there for Portacot people. My data usage skyrocketed. And from that moment, I knew that I had to monetize my page. I had to turn my hobby into something that could actually, I could actually benefit from. And so I think those were the challenges. Quitting a job, quitting my job, and becoming jobless just because I wanted to uh, make Portacot, I mean, just put Portacot on the platform and then monetizing it. And monetizing, I started like charging like one five. And people would even insult me. They'd be like, what are you charging? What are you doing? I'm like, then I used to use Airtel 3K for seven gig and I buy that 3K two or three times per month. And so like that, it was challenging because I'm like, look at me, I left my own job. Like, okay, what made me even leave the job? Because I figured that I was more, I was more of, I was, I'll be at work and I'll be thinking about that in pictures. I'll be at work and a client will be there and I'll be like, sorry, excuse me, I'll go and be checking. So I decided to quit and I'm like, after quitting this job, Someone is prizing me. Somebody has prized me 500 naira before my page, and and it was funny because because sorry, I, I don't know if I'm talking too much. I'm just sharing my challenges. And then I think the first time I started, my highest charge was I think 10k. I started doing one five per post, then maybe 10k weekly. And people were so. And when then I, I think my first, I had a big client from Lagos, and when they had I was charging 10k, they were like they were like 10k. They started calling me, oh my dear, my dear, they, they said, as in, they, were, they, they, just, they thought 10K was ridiculous. They didn't, they didn't even take me seriously. Like, how can you charge 10K? What are you giving us? So I think those were the, and then Portaco people supporting and understanding what blogging was about. I think those were my own challenges. Thank you very much. Thank you.